Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am on my way to the fish market and I thought, why don't I bring you all along with me? So let's go. <laughs> Here we are, one of my favorite fish markets because they have the best fish. I mean, when you walk in here, it does not smell fishy at all. And that only means you are in the right place. All right, so I'm going to pick out whatever I need and we will be back on the road. <laughs> yes. So we made it home and here is our box of fish. Um, down here on the floor, I have some things that I got from the African market like bread and stuff. Yes, so my house is about an hour away from all this goodness. So when I go, I make sure I shop and I shop well because at times I go every two weeks or every month so I usually like to make sure that I have everything set so before I start cleaning my fish I'm going to empty my rack put everything away clear the area because I'm going to be working with some fresh fish and when working with fresh fish and meats and other bloody stuff you want to make sure that every place is nice and clean and clear and you're not transferring any bacteria from your fish into like your sponge or anything that is really close um, in perimeter to wherever you're working okay so I clear everything and we're going to begin and here I have three big bags of fish well two big ones and one small one and you need gloves lemons I have the freezer safe ziplock bags and the twist tie bags all right yes and your girl get to singing yes so <laughs> so I like to scrape my catfish to get rid of the sliminess whenever I'm cleaning it so I scrape it first and then I go ahead and use my lemon to rub it you know squeeze the lemon on it and rub it until it is no longer slimy you can also use lime it works just as well I'm just using whatever I have at home so I'll just clean everything very very well you do not want to put the sliminess in your soup and start cooking that be mm -mm, uh -uh. <laughs> So I wash everything and I do not like the head but if you do then yes clean it just the same way but I'm just going to cut the little pieces that are stuck onto it because I'm gonna eat that but the head part it scares me a bit so I'm just going to chop it off and get rid of it but do whatever you like my sweet. So once that is done, I clean my sink before moving on to the next fish because otherwise your um, drain will be clogged and your sink will fill up with water, making your work even more messy. Alright, the next fish that I have is mackerel and that is a bit easier. You just wash it but I, I just let them cut them without taking out the guts. So once I get home, I take everything out and wash it very very nicely but if you like you can let them take everything out I just like it this way because the uh, fish stays together and if you ask them to cut it before taking it out they don't really like that they like to just make one big incision and take everything out so this is quite a lot of work for them so I just leave that for myself because Nampe job. Eh? <laughs> Alright, so I wash everything and then clean up after myself one more time. Like I said, you don't want the guts or whatever 
uh, mess is coming off your fish to clog your drain and make it you know messy for you to do this so finally I'm going to be um, cleaning the last fish which is the pompano my hubby's favorite let me tell you it's my favorite too because this fish is so good if you've never had it try it I don't know the Ghana name for it so please don't ask I wish I knew maybe one of these days if I find my way home to Ghana I will research it and bring you all the name because uh -uh. So sorry. <laughs> after that, um, after cleaning that one, I clean up after myself, like the knives and the cutting boards that I used. I just want to get it out of the way, and I don't want to put it aside without cleaning it because I will only be transferring bacteria or whatever from one surface to another. So I clean it nicely and then set it aside, which is the way to go, guys. You want everything to be very nice, and especially if you have kids, you don't they will put their bread right on the counter and not know that there's you know something growing on there and get them sick. So once I um, wash those, I clean the sink a bit and we're going to continue with the cleaning of our fish. So my next step is to um, rinse it off with some vinegar water. So I just use plain old white vinegar, it's nothing special. I just add some into the water and then I'm going to wash each one with the um, vinegar water you can also add salt at this point but I like to use just the vinegar okay. so once that one is washed I go on to washing the next one So once everything is washed, I'm going to go ahead and wash it one more time, but this time with just clean water, nothing added to it, okay? And when I bag my fish, I like to bag them individually. What I mean is, um, each fish was cut into three so I'm going to bag three pieces of fish in each bag and I don't stack it on top of each other which helps with the freeze and once you bring it out of the freezer it defreezes very quickly and very easy and you have all parts to your fish together So everything is now washed um, now I'm changing my gloves and before you start anything you want to make sure that you have all your bags that you're going to be using before you touch the fish again you don't want to put your hand in the fish and then go and touch your um, bag unless of course you have somebody there to help you to hand your bags to you so this is what I mean by bagging them individually so each bag gets the head the middle and the tail okay and I'm going to do the same with my mackerel and this is an amazing way to store your fish so for those of you that wanted to know how I um, prep and store my fish here you have it I hope you will try this method because I think it is amazing ever since I've been doing this it makes my life easy um, ba um, bagging the whole thing and freezing it at times causes you to have to defreeze everything just to get the pieces that you need and then put it back in the freezer this way I first bag them in the twist tie bags and then put like three or four bags in a ziplock bag and store it that way you just bring out your ziplock bag you pull one out or two however many you need you go ahead and you prep it and you make your dish all right so it's that simple just um it's my habit now so it's easy 
it might seem um, tedious to you in the beginning, but you will be happy with it. Trust me. Yes, yo, I had to call my baby girl to come and help me. That's what I'm talking about. It's good to have help. If she wasn't here, that means I'll have to take off my gloves, get what I need out, and then put on another glove to continue the work. So now that everything has been tied in the twist tie bags, we're going to put them in the Ziploc bags. And with the Pompano, four packs went into one Ziploc bag. So that's just perfect. Okay, and everything is done now. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into my freezer. So everything have its space in my freezer and as you can see, the fish space was empty. And what is commission without Kena? Uh-uh, that ain't going to go that well. <laughs> At this point, we're just going to go ahead and clean up after ourselves. I'm just going to wipe everything down, spray everything down because I'm telling you all, when you work with fish or meat please take that moment to clean up after yourself because it is very easy for our children to get sick and we do not want to get them um any sicker than they already make themselves <laughs> all right so at this point i'm just going to clean around me the surfaces that i used anything the you know the bowls and the knives everything that i have used in this um process i'm going to clean nicely so yes Alright y'all, so at this point I'm all done. I'm just going to go ahead and go take a rest, put my legs up and relax for the rest of my day. Thank you all so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajeli. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, I love you all so so much. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe. Keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing. Bye y'all.